Do you remember Jamil Chade? Yes. <laughs> Crazy man. One time I went to visit you before a fight in Atlantic City with my father and Jamil. You were in a suite in an apartment. And uh, you were playing dice. So that's my favorite pastime. I love playing dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and he tried to play with you, but you beat him like four in a row. He had no more money. So he was so upset that he lost. He was yeah, competitive. That, that happens sometimes. <laughs> I'm pretty good. <laughs> so you still play dice with your friends? No, I, don't, I don't play no more. I'm too, I'm too, I'm too family oriented. I'm at the office all the time. I'm hanging out with my wife. My wife is not going to give me 10 feet away. She's on me. We're working with kids. She's making sure I'm involved with these kids doing stuff. And I guess that's what I, she said, Hey, what am I going to do? Well, I'm not, you know, I'm making money. I'm working. I need to spend some time with the kids. How about are you going to do any other tattoos? I have no, listen, the other day I was thinking about just tattoo, because I'm in such, I'm in such good physical condition. I was thinking about just, just getting my whole body inked up. I saw, I, I saw somebody who had his whole body from, from neck to toe, and he was fit like myself, and he looked beautiful. And I said, wow, he was, his body was all tatted out. And I thought that was beautiful. And it was really fit. You have this one in the face and you had one in the arm, a little one? I have quite a few. I have Che Cabrera on my, on my, my thigh right here. The Che. Yeah, I have, I have a bunch of stuff. Uh -huh. And who designed this one in, in, the, in the face? I did. I was watching these warriors from um, Australian warriors in the, um, there. The Maui tribe, the indigenous people, warriors, ancient warriors, and, I, and they normally tattoo themselves and their whole body 